All right, guys, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to merge changes from your modded JSONs and JFSBs into the new JSON JFSBs um, using all the tools. I'm not going to edit this video so you guys can see the process from beginning to end, so forgive me if this sounds a little janky. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to open KTools, and you're going to want to open up the new downloaded updated files from your bait 60 CAC. Um, we're going to just do one for now but you're going to have to do it in the, all the files you want to change so you're going to want to do it to character mapping um, you're going to want to do it to movie data table the car profile table and the face textures tape render table so right now we're just going to do one of them I'm going to go into roster and I'm going to extract that okay what you'll want to do you don't want to overwrite the ones that are already in your baked files. So for me, that's baked 61. This is where I have all these uh, meta files. You don't want to overwrite it there. You want to make a new folder somewhere. For me, it's here. Now, this word of caution, it's going to be different for everybody. Setups are going to be different for everybody. But if you follow the same general process, it will work. So I have a data folder in here where I keep all my profiles for my meta whenever I want to make new ones or anything. I created a new JFSB folder, and I created a new JSON folder, okay? So, you're going to want to extract all of your data into one of these folders here. For me, I'll just do it in the JFSB one. That's probably the proper way to do it. So, we have all of our files now in that folder, okay? As you can see, roster. This got some stuff in here that we don't need, so it, for me, I just extract everything. We'll keep those two in there, okay? You don't want to get rid of your old ones, guys, all right? I have my old ones here. These are the ones that have all my mod stuff in it. So you want those still there, but you want the new ones somewhere else, okay? You're going to open Meta, okay? You're going to go to File. You're going to open up JFSB, and you're going to go to the new ones you just extracted, Okay? So for me, it'll be in this folder. All right, we're just going to do. We're just going to show you the character profile table right now. So you double click it and let it open up. You don't want your old ones open. Don't open anything up. Just keep the new ones open. Okay. Now we're going to export this JSON into my other folder, which is new JSON. You don't want to overwrite your old mod one, or you're going to lose everything. Go into here. Now it's very key that you do this. Very important when you click save. You don't want Meta to watch this. You don't want Meta to watch this, okay? Click No, because right now you're just making your changes. If you click Yes, it will update everything so that it's watching from that new folder. You don't want Meta to do that. So click No. All right, once you've extracted your new JSONs and JFSBs into the new folders, you're going to want to close everything up here, and then you're going to want to open your old JFSBs your modded ones in meta you don't want to open the new ones that you just extracted you want to open the old ones so for me i have a collection that has all the old ones in it but that's that, that would be the jfsbs that you have in your bait 61 or wherever that you would normally bake into a cast okay so you want it to watch now so now you're watching go open visual studio code this is going to take some time and a lot of patience you're going to want to make sure that you compare over and merge the right files okay so it's going to take a little bit of guesswork and some know-how how to do this but if you do it right it'll work just fine so down here i have my old modded jasons okay these are the ones i normally worked from before the patch before the update so i'm going to take character profile table and open it in here and i'm going to take the new ones which are in my new jasons folder the ones i just exported and i'm going to open that one as well i'm going to go down here Back to the old one, and I'm going to right-click on the old one, the modded one, and I'm going to click Select for Compare, okay? And then I'm going to go up. I'm going to go to the new character profile table, right, the new one. And I'm going to right-click the new JSON, and I'm going to click Compare with Selected, and you'll see this screen pop right here, okay? The stuff on the left side, this window here on this side, these are your mod changes. These are your old files. And this one is the new JSONs, okay? The new the new character profile table. 
So what you're going to have to do, this requires some patience and, and time, but this is how you merge them, is you're going to want to take all the stuff over here that you see that's red or that you've added that you know, and you're going to want to click the little arrow here and transfer them over. Click that one, go down. You see our two arrows up here, an up and a down arrow. That moves it up to the next change. These are comparing the changes in your bo in both your files. So you'll click down here. There are your changes here, okay? So something like this, if you're not sure, if the names haven't been changed, the playable flags haven't been changed, if it's just the height or just the weight or the wrestler type and that's it, that's something that... That means 2K change. So these have been updated here. So these are probably things that 2K changed for DLC or updated wrestlers or MyRise characters, things like that. They always just height attributes, things like that. So we're going to skip those for now and go down to something that looks like it could be from a mod. See, they've added announcer IDs. The green over here means that that's what's been added in the new jason the new jfsb they weren't there before so they're probably prepping these or these are dlc sort of like the uncle howdy so we're going to skip that those are crowd signs that were added those are weight classes that were changed but you'll know your mods when you see them because it'll be a lot more pronounced and you'll see a big wall of green over here. That means these are characters that were added or changed. The wrestler ID was added to this one or changed. We want to leave that alone. The playable flags you can carry over. That's your modded file. It's there, but it's not in the new JFSB. So you're going to want to carry that over there. And then you'll scroll down. So this is one of mine. You'll see it. Because I've added... Um, I've removed it... A secondary attire from a MyRise character. I've changed the names. See the names here are 712. That means that they're all kind of blank. I've changed the names. I've added playable. I've changed the weight class. You'll see down here. I changed the crowd signs. I changed the location name. That's one of my characters. So when you get to something like that, you're going to just want to do this for every red portion until you get down to the, the announcer commentary if you've changed it. Scroll down. Carry it over. Carry it over. And then carry these over. String name. Commentary. Boom. And you can go down to the next change using the arrow. Playable flag can get added. <clears throat> so on and so forth. Down here. Like I said, you'll get the hang of this once you do it a few times. Because you'll, you'll, you'll know what you've changed. The playable flags and such, the attires, the full names. This is all another one I of mine. This is another creation of mine that I added to the mod. Um, once you're done with all of that, you'll want to hit file. And you'll just want to hit save. And that's it. I won't do it because it'll update my JFSB. But hit save. And then check in your meta. And make sure that your meta deserialized the profile table. Here. Once you see that it has the serialize the profile table, you know that you're updated and you're good to go. You'll have to do that for all your files. You'll have to do that for character mapping, movie data table, and face textures. Carry over all your changes in the same way that we did here. With the arrows going into here and then using the, arrow, the arrows down to go to the next changes. Okay? It's going to take a long while because you can see here all the differences in each file. But this is how you can merge without having any issues. But just make sure you're not overriding DLC or things like that. Things that you know you didn't change or that you know you could not have changed. You don't want to, you don't want to change it. And once you do all of that and then you save and then you bake your files again, uh, everything should be in there and good to go for your mods. Unless, of course, you know, you want to import a new mod. You'll have to wait till meta updates for that. So that's going to require patience because that's going to take some time. But that's just an easy way for you guys to merge using VSC and comparing. If, if you don't want to manually put your changes in or anything like that, um, just just do it this way. You'll get the hang of it, and you'll you'll, you'll see that once you do it a couple times, you, you'll you'll be able to do it without any issues. 
Um, thank you guys for listening. I hope that wasn't too confusing or anything. If you have any questions, hit me up in the Meta Discord. Tag me. Let me know. And uh, I'll happily help anyone that has any questions with doing compares. Okay? All right, guys. Take care.